Hey everybody, it's Mobius Y here with my next playthrough series, and this is Shadow of the Colossus. This is one of the greatest video games ever made. It is absolutely critically praised in every aspect, and for very good reason. Everything about this game is absolutely fantastic. The visuals, the setting, the atmosphere, the music, the soundtrack itself is one of this game's strongest assets. This is also one of my personal favorite games. If it wasn't for Mass Effect, this would be my favorite game of all time, but it takes a very close second. When I first saw this game, I did not own it personally. I saw it at a friend's house, and this game was the sole reason I bought a PlayStation 2 many years ago. This game was originally released on PlayStation 2 back in 2005. It was redone with an HD graphic makeover and other various audio and visual improvements, including a steady frame rate. And that was released for the PlayStation 3 back in 2011 and is being redone yet again from the ground up so that it can be re-released once more for the PlayStation 4. And that's coming out sometime in 2018. So no matter which generation of PlayStation you have, you are very likely capable of getting a copy of this game and trying it out for yourself. I highly recommend playing it. This is one of those must-plays that everybody who considers themselves a gamer has to try at least once. This game is just that good. Now, where my last playthrough series involved Mass Effect, where there is a lot of dialogue, this game actually does not have a heck of a lot of dialogue and it is spoken in a fictional language, so there are subtitles. I won't be talking over it. I won't be reading them out to you. I trust that you guys can understand basic English in words on your screen so I highly recommend putting this video into full screen or possibly watching it on your TV via the use of a, one of your gaming consoles so that you can actually read the words at the bottom of the screen I think it will help quite a bit but without further ado let's play some Shadow of the Colossus okay so here at the main menu for Shadow of the Colossus. Fun fact, in this main menu and in all of the cinematics of the game, you can actually move the camera around with the right stick and zoom in by pressing the right trigger, or R2, in PlayStation layman's terms. Just a funny little thing that you can do uh, while playing the game. Now, this is the PS3 version of the game, so unfortunately I don't have my PlayStation 2 saves on here, which means I don't have hard mode accessible right now which is sad because I feel that the game is far more thrilling and intense on hard difficulty and it's just that much more satisfying to complete. I'm going to double check the options here. I'll turn up the screen brightness a little bit. So that whole video segment uh, that we saw previously is actually the prologue to the game. We saw that a person, which is actually the protagonist, riding their horse to what appears to be a distant land and they were carrying something on their horse. And they entered this distant land which is in order to access they have to cross this giant bridge. You can see the arches underneath the bridge along there. Well, barely. <laughs> if the light isn't so terribly blinding. So uh, this very first episode here is probably going to be pretty short. We're just going to jump into a new game, get through the rest of uh, basically the prologue uh, before jumping directly into the game and going into our first battle. So here we go. New game. Spooky noises. So there they are, completing the trek across this giant bridge where it ends into this really big building. Oh, look at the hawks overhead. As I said, this game was originally created for PlayStation 2, so even with the somewhat revamped HD graphics, the textures and whatnot might look somewhat dated, but I must say, it still looks quite spectacular, even for a game that's 12 years old. At least that's just my opinion. Of course, as we progress through this game... Well, the horse doesn't want to go in there. <laughs> as we progress through this game, I want you guys to be watching and listening the different sound and visual effects that this game provides. The sound effects and the music, as I said, are quite spectacular. Uh, the music is one of the best aspects of this game. And the entire soundtrack is extremely critically praised. Definitely worth giving it a listen to on YouTube. An interesting sunroof. Ah, that, that is a long way down. Can't quite tell what that is in the middle. Looks like a pool of some sort. 
And yeah, I'd say it's a pool. Definitely looks like one. And this looks like what would be the end of a very long journey. When in fact, it is just the beginning. So clearly, that is a body brought all the way here. For what purpose, we will find out soon enough. cares about very deeply and she definitely looks dead So our protagonist has brought this girl here into the Forbidden Land in an attempt to bring back her soul. It looks like their journey is complete with his trusty steed at their side. What the? That is mildly creepy. Good thing my horse was there to warn me. That's an interesting design. be gone. Huh. Well, that was easy. Is 
Outfits. I was to be a war, not even peace, not war. You bet, Zanada. Okay. You, I will do it. Be on thy way. All right. So it's a little weird holding on to a PlayStation controller, considering I've been an Xbox owner and player for over ten years now. These Dual Shocks feel so weird in comparison. Press the Y button or triangle to jump. Oops, that's the attack button. In a sunlit place, hold up the sword using circle or B and look to where the light beam focuses. I have to do it in sunlight, though. Well, this is pretty sunlit, I would say. As you can see, the beams of light kind of spread out as I go further away from my target direction. Interesting. So, this game it has a very minimalist nature. The heads-up display is pretty much what you see in the bottom right. There is the box indicating which weapon you have equipped. All you have is a sword and a bow. The circle indicates your strength meter or stamina. And the red bar is your health. Press triangle when you're next to the horse to get on. Kick the side of the horse to make him run by using X. The horse goes faster every time you kick. Control the reins with the left stick to stop. Pull left stick towards you. Yeah. So I'm just going to get a little bit used to the controls here. I think i got to go to the options menu, though, and change something. Uh, I'm going to try and stop here. Let's hop off the horse. Ooh. I meant to stop first. And these camera controls are messing with me. There's the map. You can use the right stick to zoom in or out, and you can also use the left stick to move around. So far, most of the map is covered 
in all these clouds, but it will actually gradually start to reveal itself as we defeat the aforementioned Colossi. I gotta check the options. Vertical camera control, inverted, horizontal camera control. I need that inverted, because apparently I can't figure this crap out. Okay, return, and let's go back. Is that better? Yes, that's much better. So what other buttons do what? That's the jump. I need to get really familiar with the jumping button. Now I hold the right trigger or R2. That should be grip. There it is. Okay. Jump up. Excellent. There's the dodge roll. There's the attack. Let's uh, practice with the bow for a second. Oh my, left analog stick aiming. Holy, I haven't done this in a long time. Pretty much since the last time I played this game. Even though I used to play Perfect Dark, I heck of a lot in the N64. That involved left analog stick aiming, so... And this is do nothing. Oh, but I can pull the sword out immediately. How convenient. Okay, so... We have the setting. We are in the Forbidden Land. We are trying to resurrect this girl who we assume is our lover. Oop, didn't mean to do that. We have just our sword, our bow, and our trusty steed. Agro! And our trusty steed is Agro. Agro! 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 Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead up here to this little shrine. These are actually save points. They're scattered throughout the land. I'm going to save right now. How do I do that? Agro! <laughs> uh, that's not it. Uh, how do I do that? There we go. Circle button. Would you like to save? Yes. New file. Okay, so... No new files, as you can see. This is a brand new playthrough for me. So I'm going to save now. This episode's gone on long enough, and it's just been a prologue. So with the next episode, when we come back, we will face the first Colossus. It sure takes a while to save, I must say. Do, 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 do. There we go. Save complete. All right, so we've only played for three minutes, and it's basically just been the opening. Let's go back. How do we go back? There we go. All right, so that's going to be it for episode one of Shadow of the Colossus. I am really excited to get this game going. When we come back, as I said, we will head towards where the light gathers, and we will face our first Colossus. This has been Mobius Y, playing Shadow of the Colossus. Hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching.